hi sir uh if you are watching this video right now i want to tell you a very big thank you for actually uh registering with us in aki card uh for the aki card training i'm going to be taking you through that process right away as you can see this is aki card 25 um although there is no much difference in the interface if you are using a different uh, version of aki card um but you can see here we have the file we have edit we have view we have design we have document we have option we have teamwork uh, we have windows we have help now if you look at this design here it's actually what we have here but here under my design here we are having a little brief of the most common uh, tools we are going to be using in design if you come to documents here it's actually here as well uh, it gives you a little uh, uh, like the most common uh, tools we use in our document okay and then for viewpoint as well which you which we have here as well i'm going to be taking you through that process uh, right away um now um you can see the interface of your iki card itself if you come to your file and you click on new it takes you to a new project uh, and it's also telling you that uh, to create a new project you can just simply use a shortcut key by holding on ctrl n once i type hold on ctrl and n it brings you can see it's telling me that i should create a new project okay from the template uh, archicad 25 now um i can browse a template if i have other templates i probably may want to use but I'm going to be using this existing template latest project settings I'm going to leave everything as it is or I can actually select a particular template that I may probably want to be using going forward now uh, I'm going to be using architectural basic profile 25 and then I'll click on new okay it's asking me to save say don't see okay so this is exactly what to do when you open the proto the archi card this is what it brings to you the interface telling you to select a template okay now by the time it brings you here now you can see originally this is what the software will generate for you okay by default um you can save a project you can save as in saving as is going to tell you uh the different format at which you can save your file after running your design you can decide to save it as a picture you can see jpeg png are all picture formats d xf dwg are autocad formats okay so there are so many other formats that you can actually save uh, your drawing as okay so um we are not going into that right now later as we progress in the training you are going to see how we are going to be making good use of most of this uh, information libraries and objects you can see different uh, library manager if you probably want to even import some libraries you can as well import them in your archi card like you know archi card is actually a 3d software when you do your design in 2d it's automatically gives you in 3d formats that is why you can see what we have here it's our ground floor here is telling us this is our 3d so whatever you do is going to show you in three dimension and it's going to give you in their elevations automatically you know for those that are very familiar with autocad you know you have to automate you have to generate uh, your elevations manually okay you have to generate the cross section manually everything has to be done manually in autocad but here in your archi card once you draw your floor plan it will automatically generate the 3d for you i'm going to be demonstrating most of this even in this particular introduction which is the episode one of this particular training so um if you look this side here we have uh what we have the project map in your project map is just showing you a summary of what is going on here in your particular design which you have done so far now this is telling us here from here that we have ground floor the first floor and your second floor although here we are actually may not need 
the uh, story too so i may delete this for now uh, as we progress i will show you uh, how to design uh, a story building but for now we are going to be doing something very simple just to give you a little insight or an overview of what uh, the software is all about okay now uh, coming back to here where we have our design you can see we have arrow we have uh, mark these tools i'm going to also be showing you as we progress in the design now if you come to your design here you can see we have wall we have column we have beam we have slab we have roof like that we have staircase we have railings we are going to be adding most of this in our design and you see practically as we practicalize it you will see we have cross sections elevations uh the elevation is going to be generating for us automatically you are going to be seeing that and then your dimension you are going to see how i'm going to do a very simple uh design here and i'll be demonstrating this for you here in the design right away okay if we come now one good thing about this software is when you click on any particular member it will automatically bring out the properties of that particular member and if you click down on this drop down menu here or you come it's telling you that this is a structural bearing okay that's the this wall is a wall bearing load uh it's uh yeah it's it's actually beards load this this wall actually carries carries load is designed to carry load okay uh if you click this drop down here for engineers they will understand perfectly what i mean uh if i click on this setting dialog it brings out the property of this particular wall now i can select from here our structural basic or whatever type of wall if i switch here you can see it's switching giving me the little properties about this and i can edit the property of any of this particular member as i want it okay now it shows you different uh, type of walls different walls you can see we have different type of wall here so all you need to do is to pick the particular wall that suits whatever you want to design for and as well you can also specify the thickness of your particular wall you can see here uh, by just clicking this is giving me the option to select or to type in uh, the thickness of my wall I can just type in the thickness of my wall which I'm going to be demonstrating as we progress in the training now this is for your wall settings uh, which we are going to be going deeper even as we progress like I said okay um, if we come back to our column is the same thing you can see everything here now has switched to the property of my particular column now if I click here you can see it's telling me even without clicking if I move my mouse around here my cursor is showing me that uh, this is actually very interactive the software is very interactive it tells you what you are actually hovering at now by bringing it here it's telling me this is my setting dialog if i click on it it takes me to the setting dialog and it's also telling me that the shortcut key to take me to my setting dialog is just to hold on ctrl t now if i hold on ctrl t it brings me to the setting dialog but mind you like i said we are actually on the column property we are actually on column is because i clicked on column that is why it will take me to the column property if i click on wall now it will take me and i hold on ctrl t it will bring me to the property of my wall okay similarly for every other structural member if i click on beam you can see everything here has switched to the property of my beam so if i hold on ctrl t it brings me to the property of this particular beam okay so coming back to our column like i said if i come back to the property of this particular column you can see everything that has to do with the column i can actually change the cross section and it's giving me the preview of how this column is actually going to look like we are going to be going deeper into most of this like i said as we progress in the training okay you can see for beam so it's similar for every other member that you see here even for your roof if you come to your roof the same thing you can click on it and it brings you to the property of this particular column so you can see uh the archi card is actually very very interactive it tells you the shortcut key that you can use for every member that you want to actually make use of or for everywhere you are want to go to it actually gives you a shortcut key that you can actually use if you hover your mouse around any of the member it tells you what that particular tool is okay 
now let's come now very important to uh, our document if i come to my document you can see we have dimension we have level dimension i'm going to be taking you through all of this you will see as we demonstrate it as we progress now if come to your grid it is very very important that you start your design in archicad using your grid archicad is a very very great software like i said with archicad you may not even need to be importing drawings from autocad or wherever okay you can do your entire design directly from archicad independently even print it directly from even archicad even without exporting it to autocad okay you can do your title block and everything directly from archicad i'm going to be showing you all of that and again it has room for you to also as well integrate the software with other softwares you can integrate your archicad with proto structure autocad with rendering softwares like twin motion and the likes so you have so many other things you can integrate so many other softwares you can integrate with archicad and all of that to give you a better and a great result okay and like you know it has other plugins plugins too that you can actually use for archicad that gives you a very great uh, design output i'm going to also be showing you all of that even as we progress in the training now the first thing you do when you want to do your design from archicad uh, without exporting like i said i'm going to be showing you how to uh, without importing rather i'm going to be showing you how to import in the next episode of this training but right here now i'm going to be showing you how to do something very small using the uh, key card um if we click on your grid here now you can as well just move if i want to have an horizontal grid i can move my mouse this way if i want to have a vertical grid i can move my mouse this way by most moving my mouse this way i will have to hold on con uh, on shift by holding on shift it gives me a straight line if i hold on shift you can see it has generate a grid for me now this is also telling you that like let me bring your mind to this uh grid let me delete it and i will take it again uh there is something i want to show you quickly on this particular grid so by clicking on this and i move this and i hold on shift you can see everything that displays here at the top here is about this grid everything here up here is now telling bringing the out the properties of this particular grid so what that means is that as it is right now i can change everything that has to do with this grid here from this property so if i double click on this you can see every property of this grid is what is coming up i can rename this by just simply uh typing a here you know i used a the first time and i deleted it and that was why now you can see the a is appearing at the top here the a is also appearing at the bottom here you can easily just edit your grid to suit whatever you want to actually have you can see the floor plan grid mark markers now now this marker now uh let's say i want to take out one of these you can see this has gone the one bottom here i can also take it out you can see in real time it has actually gone off i can as well bring them back okay this section you can see is general you can also switch to your uh, custom uh, kind of grid the custom grid is the one you actually create yourself okay which you are going to see how to use custom uh, later as we also progress like i promised now this grid let's say i want to do a an offset just like the way you do in autocad in archicad you call it uh, drag okay you drag and copy you drag and rotate like that in that order or you can drag to drag is to move okay and to drag and copy is to copy a particular uh, grid okay uh, i'm going to be demonstrating that you don't have to cram some of these uh, shortcut keys there are so many shortcut keys you can also use in archicad okay um we have the control shift d is to help you copy a particular element so if i click on control shift d and 
I move my cursor in this direction, I will just specify a distance for it. Let's say I want this to be 3 meters and I drop. Now, for example, if you have forgotten this shortcut and you may not really necessarily want to use a shortcut key, all you need to do is to click on the grid, you right click, you come to your move and click on drag and uh, drag a copy. When you click on drag a copy, it helps you to actually just offset this particular grid. You can also drag a rotate, mirror, uh, sorry, rotate a copy, mirror a copy. You can see it's telling us all the shortcut keys for each of this particular tool. So if you want to use drag, uh, it's just your control D, which is to move a particular uh, object. So if I want to move this now, all I need to do is to hold on control D and I move this. I will specify the distance I actually want to move this. Let's say I want to move it to 1000. You can see it has moved. I will also copy this now by using drag a copy and I copy this to let's say 3500. Now by moving this to 3500 amazing right and here now i can also have another grid but in this time around let's say i have a horizontal kind of grid so if i have a horizontal grid here now uh i can also copy this grid here i can use drag a copy and i will specify let's say 1000 or let's say 3000 for example you can use the shortcut control shift and d you hold control hold con hold shift and hold on d letter d to specify then you specify the distance to that's to copy then you specify the distance specify the distance let's say four meters very simple is very very interesting you can as well even uh, edit some of this grid and drag them up okay you can just drag it up you can drag this your grid up you can drag it up Okay, so you can use more like a polar tracking if you are very familiar with the AutoCAD call it polar tracking you can track a particular uh, level and drag it and it will be at that exact point okay so let's say we have this our grid you have to create a grid in order for you to create a wall so by the time you create a grid we can now insert a wall for this so if I click on wall now, you can see the properties of wall is coming out for me. Now here, you can see here, if I click on this drop down, you can see this is telling us that it's core inside. We have outside face, we have center, we have inside face. Okay. Uh, let's say I want this to be at the center, which is center to center. So we are having our grid center, uh, our wall to center to center and mind you you know like i was explaining earlier on you can as well make this wall to be uh any kind of wall that you want okay uh center to center so there are different type of walls there that you can actually play around with so this is center to center now let's come back to our 3d and let's view this now you can see our 3D has been created automatically for us. So I can rotate this. You can see as you are drawing in your 2D, it's actually generating it in 3D for you automatically. But you can also set this type of wall and set the type of wall that you actually want to use. Now you can see this is the type of wall that uh, is here general generic wall slash shell okay so you can as well just pick a particular wall 
and then specify probably the thickness but if you have the thickness of the wall here already existing but you know in nigeria here we use more of 225 some people use 230 some use 225 okay so whichever one you pick it is customary to use 225 or 230 in nigeria uh, which is uh, what we call the nine inches size of our block so if i click here on this place here if i click on gen geometry and positioning um if i click here now i can specify the thickness of this wall to be let's say 230 i actually love to use 230 so if i click on 230 if you look at this very well ranging by eye you discover that this wall is thin thinner than these other walls okay so that's to tell you that you can as well play around with the thickness of your wall with the type of the wall you actually want to make use of let's come back to this property of this wall again by coming back to the property of the wall you can see by default setting this is telling you that your wall height is actually three meters okay so um now this wall that has been created here you can see this like i said will generate the elevations for you as well and i'm going to be inserting the doors i'm going to be inserting the windows for you in order for you to see how this really really works in your archicad software but now let's have another wall here that divides this around here let's have another wall here so let's say here is just a single room self-contained where you have this as your uh, your main bedroom or living room here it should be probably your kitchen and then is actually our toilet okay so we are going to be having a 600 size of window here we are going to be having uh, a 1200 size of window here we are going to be having one two window here we have one two window here then we have a we can have a 900 size of door here which is also going to uh, serve in order for us to do that all you need to do is to come to where you have here written as window if i click on window here i will come to this place settings dialog of my window to specify the size of the window but you can see here from this place as well is also showing us that we can actually play around with the size of our window so if i have 1200 by 1200 size of window i will just type in 1200 by 1200 size of window for example is very very common uh, in nigeria here our seal height let's say from the roof level to the top of the window is 900 for example then by the time you sum up 900 plus 1200 okay is going to give us 2100 so what is remaining from the height of the entire wall is three meters we are also going to be having 900 down below so our seal height is going to be 900 from down below so you do your settings based on what you are uh, want to achieve so if from the ground level from the uh, natural ground level to the bottom of the window uh, is 1000 for example and then the height of the window is 1200 is going to affect from the roof level to the top of that window is going to be affected so the top of that window is going to be 800 so irrespective it depends on how you actually want to arrange your window in order for you to centralize it is going to be 900 so but it depends on whatever you want to achieve if you are an architect that is watching this right now it depends on whatever you want to achieve aesthetically or whatever areas or whatever type of window you are designing for and all that but i'm just trying to explain what seal to story means okay so you can see it's showing you here using a little preview of what seal is you can see like a little diagram here showing you the opening here now showing you that from the 
bottom of this window uh, to the bottom of the uh, ground uh, natural level is 900 so if that is correct all I need to do is just to uh, come here now and I will place my window if I bring it to this side you can see it's showing us if you can bring it to this side you can see it's different I can bring it in and I can also bring it out so if I place my window here for example I can as well even after placing it just still play around with it by okay so um let's say i have another one here we can as well centralize it we can as well centralize it which i'm going to also be showing you as we progress but let's say for example i just place this particular window i can place this particular window here after placing it and i will also come back to edit it If I place this window here, in order for me to edit this window, now you can see, let me show you something quickly, very very important, this is one of the common mistakes that uh, we make in uh, Archicad, fine, now if I try to click this now, you can see it's not clicking the window, it's clicking the uh, the wall itself instead of the window in order for me to be able to select this window I will move my cursor until it gives me like a mark you can see it's showing me like a like a check mark okay by the time it changes to like a check mark that means I am highlighting this particular window I'll take it again if I move my cursor now Now, if I move my cursor, you can see by selecting this, it is the wall that is selected. You can see it's highlighting just the wall. The window itself is not selected. But if I move my cursor and it switches, you can see it has switched. It's telling me now that I can pick the object. Okay, you can see it's very interactive. By moving this, by the time it switches, if I click, now it is the window that I'm selecting. If you try it on your own, you will understand perfectly what I'm exactly talking about. But like I said, this this is our toilet. Let's say this window is 600 by 600. Okay. Now we have a 600 by 600 size of window here. But now, um, this window, you know, the seal height and for this one cannot be the same because this is a toilet is going to be higher now from the top of from the roof uh, level to the top of my window is 900 then 900 plus 600 is going to give us is going to give us 1000 uh, 900 1500 right so but you know we have our height of the building which is three meters so by the time you have three meters now minus 1500 which is from the top uh from the roof level to the uh, bottom of the window is 1500 what is remaining is 1500 so our seal height here is going to be 1500 you need not to cram it all you need to do is just to understand it by the time you understand it because you may have different types of window different sizes of windows they come in different heights in different widths okay now if that is correct let's say i have another window here i will come back to my window and then i place it i place it here then i will come to my door it's similar to what i have for okay sorry i made a mistake here window okay then let's come to door now this my door as well i can specify the type of door so if i come to the property you can see we have different types of doors here 
different types of doors you can choose to pick any type of door you actually want to play around with you can see we have different type of door and this door you can see we have different type now this door these options are moving clicking on is for the hinged doors we have rotating doors we have sliding doors we have sliding folding doors we have store front doors okay so let's say now if you click on any of this you can see this one is for opening okay we have door opening we have garage type of doors so you can decide to pick from all of these options the type of door you actually want to use we have the hinge door and door which is door 25 okay so um these doors you can as well play around with these doors and this door you can add a door leaf if you add a door leaf you can see different pattern different pattern different pattern they come in different pattern so you all you need to do is just to check the one that suits whatever you want to achieve and pick on it so let's say i want to pick this particular one okay so and then i click on okay i can also add a handle to it you can see we have different type of handles here different types of handles okay so i can just pick a particular handle type of handle that i probably want to use these are one of the most common handle that you see so if i click this and then i will just come to where this position or wherever i want to place this door and then whether i'm making this door to open inside or to open outside i will just specify but because this is actually an external door it's supposed to open outside so if i drop it like this my opening has been created now let's switch back to the 3d of this drawing for you to see what we have done now you can see our opening has been created all i need to do is just to click on orbit and then i will just rotate this if i come to right click click on orbit and just hold on your left uh, mouse left click just left click hold and hold you can see all the opening that we created is here amazing right it's a very great software like i said um we can also switch to south elevation for example you can see my south elevation is showing me this now let's come back to the ground floor you are going to see something very important now you can see this is south elevation this is west elevation this is east elevation this is north elevation okay so um i can move the entire drawing to centralize it here so that uh, i have them inside here now you can as well create elevations which i did not show you from the beginning you can create elevations you can see we have elevations here under here we are supposed to have uh, my grid elements this is for dimension sorry let's come to view our elevations are here so if i click here and i hold on can see i have created an elevation so i can select here you can see it's telling me e1 okay so that is an elevation but i don't want that right now i'm just going to use the default uh, elevations that has been generated by default for the uh, in the software itself now these elevations here you can see all that is displaying here is just the south elevation but the other elevations are here okay if i come to my east elevation you can see it's bringing me to the east elevation okay if i click on north elevation it's still showing me the north elevation which is here now the entire place here you can see uh we don't have any opening here 
so that is why it's like that so if you come to your elevation here you can see there is no opening here at all so if we come to our west elevation here you can see we have two windows here so if you come to west elevation you double click on west it brings you here where you have two opening okay so similarly for all the elevations you can actually view all the elevations here and it will display everything that has to do with that particular elevations okay it's very very easy very very simple to actually make use of okay you can also click your uh what the cross section if i click on cross section and let's say this cross section i want to view this way okay so i have cross section one one okay so if i have my cross section one one all i need to do is to view that particular cross section one one it's going to show me what i have in my cross section one one okay and this design it's actually in real time you can see here on your drop down here where you have your section if i double click on this you can see it brings me to where my cross section is and that cross section here is actually viewing here viewing you are going to see this window you are going to see this particular door we are going to be talking more on all of these tools individually we are going to be going more deeper into all of them this is just an overview of what AkiCAD has uh, it's all about okay you are going to see more of what we can do with AkiCAD even as we progress in the training okay so I have been able to show you uh, little about elevation little about cross section little about doors little about windows okay I've been able to show you um, some of uh, the dimension tools uh, sorry I've not shown you dimension tools I'm going to be showing you right away I've shown you grid I've shown you how to copy I've shown you how to move a particular file okay I've shown you how to move I've shown you how to copy I'm going to be showing you right away how to draw a particular dimension so if I click on this dimension now you can see everything that has to do with dimension is coming up so all I need to do is just to uh, make sure it switches to a check so if it switch to a check if I want to take the dimension you can see I clicked here it's giving me like uh, showing me that I have created clicked here as a first point I can click here as a second point but if I want to end this dimension here I will now double click here now if I double click I will move it and drop it at anywhere I want to drop it so I'm still moving it so let's say I want to drop it here I will also uh, left click so by dropping it you can see this is telling me that this is actually four meters okay let's come back here again I'll click here I'll click here and I'll click here but like I said, if I want this dimension now to stop here, I will double click and then I will look for a place to drop it. Let's say I drop it here. Now this is telling me that from here to here is 4 meters, from here to here is 3.5 meters. Okay, so you can do that similarly for everything you have. If we have here, we want to take out all these dimensions. I can take out all these dimensions. Uh, Uh, let's see this is I started from out to out okay then I will double click so I will drop this here and then let's take from grid line to grid lines and I'll drop so now let's take from just this alone and this alone and I, I will double click and I'll drop it. So you can see how easy it is. You can see how easy it is to actually manipulate this software. Very very easy. You can print your floor plan, you can generate your floor plan, 
directly from here if you come to your object here where we have object uh, then we have objects object here if you come to your object here and I click here under my object you can see we have we have this is everything here now is under our funny furnishing okay so under your furnishing you can see if you are designing for a health and recreational everything you are going to see everything that has to do with the that is used in the hospitals and the likes medical equipment kitchen furnitures this software has a lot of great tools a lot of great plugins a lot of great uh, objects that you can actually take advantage of so you can see we have different types of chairs here that you can just easily pick from here and again one thing with the software is allows you to actually change the uh, the sizes of this particular uh, uh, what they call it the particular object that you are picking okay so here if you come to coaches and sofa you can see we have different types of sofa here that you can actually take advantage of so you can pick on any of them and include them in your drawing for example if you want to do an interior design you can easily pick it comes out very very great all you need to do is just to pick the particular type of software you want to use let's say i want to use this for example and then i will just look for a place here to drop it okay by dropping this i can also rotate this i can actually rotate this if you come to move here you can see here we have rotate which is Control shift e so if i click on Control shift e and i can pick here let's say for example i will specify here and I will rotate it to this point so if I rotate it this is how it is so I rotate and copy that is why I'm having it this way so I can use what we have as Control D to move this if I want to move this now I will use Control D so I will select the object I will hold on Control D and I will move which is the shortcut I will select this Control D and I will move very interesting you can actually play around with it it has so many objects you can pick a table a center table you can pick your televisions different sizes you can even play around with the television all you need to do is just to come back to your objects and then you pick the particular kind of object you can see appliances here we have different appliances for your kitchen uh, you can pick all of those appliances and then include them in your drawing okay so it's very interesting uh just go through this um and then in the next episode we are actually going to be going uh much more deeper i will show you how to come up with a concrete fascia i'll show you how to come up with your roof design and then uh, we are going to be doing a real cross section and then uh, by the time we are done with that then we'll go into uh generating a real great design okay which we are going to be creating different uh stories okay we are going to create different stories and then we are going to be uh, specifying the kind of windows the type of doors okay and all that we are actually going to be using in the design okay so make sure you stay safe and make sure you stay blessed